Welcome back, you beautiful people. I'm gonna say it. Ollie Beckinsale's my personal trainer in cross country, right? We're pretty much there. We're now. nearly there. <laughs> Three times Olympic XC racer, a coach in himself as well, coaching beautiful people just like you, but we're gonna bring it onto the channel. And today, we got some skills that you're gonna teach us. What is it? So we're gonna today look at your three best winter rides. So oh. I've got three rides that I know that I do, yep. some of my clients do, and I think that you'll benefit from, you'll benefit from. So it's my three best rides to get you fit in the winter. Okay, so first ride we got, it's a two hour ride, sprint and tempo. Oh, I love All sprinting. Right. This is a great bang for your buck ride. And the nice thing is it's got a few different bits. So if the weather's bad, it splits it up, keeps you motivated and keeps you on point. All right, so basically a good session. It's good for as well for marathon racers or enduro racers or just all round bikers as well. And the good thing is it's gonna hit some peak power a little bit. It's gonna increase calorie burn, so a good bit of weight loss. And it's really going to keep us fit and there's some good skills and speed stuff. Nice. Right, it's got a bit of everything. Got everything. Okay, so basically a session, if you break it down, going to be 20 minutes, just going to go and ride some trails, yeah. just warm up and get into the ride. You always want to have at least 20 minutes of riding before you do anything really high intensity, okay. so a bit of a warm up. And then we're going to do 10 minutes with some sprints. Ooh, okay, perfect. so what we're going to do is we're going to find a short little kick, yeah. 10 second-ish sprint, roll around about 50 seconds and do 10 of them. And it's cool, if you go head to head with a mate, yeah. right, then it's always a bit competitive, always work a bit harder. We can do it at the start of the ride, the advantage is you're fresh and you can hit your peak power. Oh. All right, so some good sprints early on. And then in the next hour and a half, you can ride, what we're looking to try and do is include two sections of about 20 minutes, yeah. where you're gonna work a bit harder. Okay. All right, so the nice thing is splits the ride up, roll some trails and just try and think of a good section. Yeah. It can be cross country, it can be a big forest road section or just mix it up. And this whole two hour ride, you can do it on one big lap, which is what I prefer, yeah. and link up different sections of woods, or you could do it on a lap, All right, whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. So it's 20 minutes, some sprints, and then two 20 minute blocks working pretty hard. So you want to just be controlled of your breathing. So if you're a marathon racer, it's probably the pace you would do a marathon like 60K racer. Whoa. Um, but not quite full on yeah. cross country, it's not that hard, no. but good tempo but it's a really good fitness builder. And then like I say, we're gonna hit that peak power too. Perfect. Short track. Ooh, sounds amazing. Sounds painful. Right. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. So this one, it's one of my favorite sessions when I used to race, but also to set as a coach as well. All right, this is full gas, these ones. All right, proper race specific. But they're great for adding in, super good for motivation, hook up with a mate, and we're gonna go head to head. All right, you can do it on yourself on a circuit and race the clock. But these are really good fitness builders and skill burners as well, okay. especially for enduro or cross country guys, because we're going to ride some technical sections, but try them really hard. Uh, so okay. it takes a different, whole different meaning. Yeah. If you're out riding on the trail, you can ride a hard rock garden. Yeah. But when you're in control, easy. Mm -hmm. When you're coming into it with your eyeballs everywhere and breathing hard, yeah. it takes a different dimension. It does. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this session, hour and a half. 30 minute warm up, and then you want to find a little circuit. Okay. Five minute lap. Yeah. Or a 15 minute one if you're really lucky to have a cool little 15 minute loop. Yeah. Start line, head to head, go. Go. And you want to try and pace your effort over that 15 minutes. And this is quite a good one for racers as well. So a lot of guys, if you say it's a race, they go off like a nutter. Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is think about, yeah, a hard 15 minute effort head to head. Yeah, okay. If you haven't got it, you could almost make it a, a, a Strava segment or a time segment. Yeah. And then try and increase your time each week. Okay. Think about the little bits you want to add into your circuit as well. So you could have a little climb, some techie stuff. And if you've got a race coming up or some races coming up in the spring, yeah. you might tune that circuit. Okay. So it's kind of a bit specific to what yeah. you've got coming up. Ooh, okay. But yeah, you need a good warm up for 30 minutes, 15 minute blast. 15 minutes, just chill, get your breath back. Yeah. 15 minutes, 15 minutes. 15 again. minutes. So 15. two lots of 15. Right, so our last session. Yeah. It's a two hour one, half and half. Half and half? What right. do you explain what half and half? So what we're gonna do is gonna split the session into two. We're gonna have a bit more of a tech side. Yeah. Tech hour, and then hard hour. All right. Yeah. The reason why we do that 
is we want to do the technical skills are best off done when you're fresh. So if you want to think of anything that's going to involve any sort of skill or really high strength, you want to do that at the start of a session. Okay, that's when you're nice and fresh and you can achieve new wonderful things. All right. Second bar is that's the hardcore fitness bit. Now you can do that when you're half asleep. All right, so you do that in the second bit, skills in the front bit. Okay. And that works with any session, okay? If you really want to improve a skill, do it at the start of a ride, okay, when you're nice and fresh. Sounds. So what we're going to do with our half and half, first hour, we're going to find some cool new sections and just session some downhills. Cool. Okay? Yeah. Re-ride some sections, do some down, maybe some timed runs Ooh. might work for some people if you're looking to improve it. And then that second hour, this is the tough bit, we're going to have pick a climb, Ideally, if you've got somewhere near you, by your five minute climb works good. But it could, if it's a bit fatter, five minute forest road or something like that. Five minute hard effort. Okay. All right, so it's not really hard, hard. Hard. So that sort of pace at the top of your climb, you're working at your anaerobic threshold. Okay, that's when you're starting to get the tingly legs. Okay. So at the point of that five minutes, you're really glad that the climb's finished. But if you had to do a bit more, you could. All right, five minutes. Back down, ideally down a nice downhill if you've got one. And then we want to try to do five of those climbs. So five times five. Yeah. Hard work. Hard work. All right. So it's a really good session, all mountain bikers for fitness, but it's great cross country, obviously. Marathon, enduro guys, you know, they need some good fitness. Downhill guys too. They get yeah. time to do some really good tech at the start and then hit the fitness in the second bit. Get to the, get to the second bit. Yeah. But yeah, really good session. Three crazy ways to keep fit through the winter months. Uh, they are pretty hard and muddy. Training started now. It has started now, Ali. Thank you very much for coming on the channel, showing us your knowledge and giving us all your tips and tricks. If you want to continue watching GMBN and binge watch all you want, click one of these videos on the screen. Perfect for you. One is a skill-based one, and the other one, just an epic ride. Don't forget to hit that globe to subscribe because you're missing out on some rad content. Give us a thumbs up, like. If you love muddy riding trails, we love them. Oh, I love it. <laughs>